What's up everyone? I'm Matt with Ozark Overland Adventures and I am back in the Ozarks. Ozark Overland Adventures is proudly supported by The More Expo, the Midwest's only indoor event for adventure travel enthusiasts. Artemis Overland Hardware. They have the passion and knowledge to ensure that your next outdoor experience is more than a camping trip, it's an adventure. And Long Creek Overland, your source for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise and more. It is so good to be back in the Ozark National Forest. It has been way too long. So the plan for today, it's actually Tuesday, and this coming weekend, we have our subscribe, what we call our subscriber weekend. Um, actually, in this case, it's our, our patron subscriber weekend, because uh, all of our patrons took all the spots. But we've got 15 of our patrons that are coming up this weekend, and a couple of my friends are gonna help out. And so I am on the quest for our campsite for the weekend, and then going to explore a few trails in the area to get ready for that. So that is why we are here today. And with me, I've got Richie from Jailbreak Overlander. That's uh, his friggin' sweet 80 series. And then I've got Robert. Uh, Robert's with us in his really sweet forerunner. And so the three of us are going to uh, go around and explore. But I, I think we've already found the campsite. This is it. I mean, look how massive this is we have been here before um our back in march we do we get together and just call it march madness but we were here for this year's march madness and i think this will hold 20 rigs with no problem um so uh, this is this is where we're going to call home this weekend and i think it's going to be awesome i do have one other campsite i want to check out just to see because i've never stayed there before but it's going to be awesome thanks for joining along with us it's going to be a good day. This is the entrance to what we call the sketchiest trail in the Ozarks. I've got it on a couple videos, but I've never done it in the Gladiator. And Robert's never done it in his Forerunner. He did it in his little first gen Tacoma. And I did it twice in my Wrangler, but this will be both of our first time to do it 
in, in our main rigs. And of course, Richie has never been here before. So we're breaking him in really good on possible Ozark trails. As you can see, this trail does not get used very much. Unfortunately, Richie just got a phone call that we never want to get, especially when we're out way away from home in remote locations. And that's that his dad had a stroke or something and had to be rushed to the hospital. Um, so he has to turn around and he's got a long drive home because he lives up in the Northeast. So anyway, Richie, if you watch this, I hope your dad is recovers and is doing okay and can't wait to, to see you again. Yeah, it's a shame because I think you would enjoy doing this. <laughs> Run on my food. Turn a little driver. 38 degrees. Well, it's Robert's turn. Well, that one always gets your heart racing. 38 degrees is pretty darn steep. I don't think anyone's going to be able to climb that. Maybe with a buggy hitting full speed. There's just no traction. This isn't Moab. Oh, so much. So much teeter-tottering. Quick note to our patrons that are watching this. As always, this uh, route and the waypoints and stuff that we find today will be available, but there will be a marker at the beginning of this trail with a warning, as I don't want anybody coming down here and getting in over their head. Because once you're down in there, there's really no place to turn around. So. Just, just FYI.
We just have to clear some of this out in order to make room. Yeah, it's plenty of room. Not a problem. I'm honestly not sure which way it goes. I'm gonna think maybe to the left. I'm not sure this is the right way. Let's go see. I did not expect the trail to actually go down the stream, but it does for about 30 yards. It's not very often that you see that in the other dark, but it's just maybe one or two examples that I know of. So the trail actually dumps us out right in the campsite I wanted to check out. Interesting. It's a really nice campsite. Very big, but I don't think we can fit as many rigs as we need to in here. Um, let's throw that in the back of the Jeep. Oh, that's a whole, that's a whole a whole case of a bush i don't drink but uh i'll throw that in the back of the jeep let's see beautiful down here wow gorgeous down here the main dirt road through here is right there but yeah this is gorgeous this is very nice. And if you know me, you know how I feel about rock stacks. So, let's knock that one over. We don't need man telling us that someone was here. Yeah, that looks better than it did. Man does not need to improve upon nature. I'm having a blast today. It's great to be wheeling with Robert again. 
just having some company to talk to on the radio. It's, it's, it's a nice change of pace compared to the solo trips that I've been on lately. But we are off to explore another trail that I have never done before. So it's, it goes up high on a ridge line. So I don't expect much technical on it, but I mean, those are you never know. We'll find out. That is, I think that is called Gray Rock. I think there's a spring down there. Um, looks kind of dilapidated, but that I think it's called Gray Rock. I've driven by it many times, but I've never stopped. Yeah, it's like a little campground. Let's go see. Gray Spring. I think it's just a little picnic spot. They use only. Yeah. Pretty neat though. Toilet. Uh -oh. Etched into the rock. Oh yes. wow. A uh, old water, water fountain. This little covered shelter. Pretty cool. I like the roof, the moss in the roof. There's a, looks like maybe an old well or something up here. Maybe the spring. You see the, the moss in the roof? Uh -oh. oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's gorgeous. down to the highway get back down to the main dirt road that we would normally come in on but there's a road on the map that looks like it may be another water crossing on the mulberry and I want to go check that out and see what it's like so that's where we're heading
Well, this is not uh, not, the, not the water crossing place. I saw this from the road. I had this marked on the map as a campsite, but I'd never actually driven down here before. Wanted to see what it looked like. I'm glad I did. It's uh, good for hammocks. Not uh, not so good for for vehicles because it's not very flat. But now we know. spot with a nice view and look how beautiful that water is down there oh I love the Ozarks This is going to be a new favorite, I think. I'm not going to use it this weekend because for as many rigs as we have, it's it's leveling would be a challenge. But oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. This is beautiful. Oh, yeah. Wow. I think we need to incorporate this in a, in a trip for you. Oh, we will. This could be a bonfire run, you know, or cold water run inside the church. Dang. <laughs> this, is, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. You got yeah it's not exactly level so like i wouldn't use it for this coming weekend with 20 rigs just because it's leveling would be a challenge but when it's just like you know six seven eight of us yep. yeah That's this would be good. fantastic yeah man that looks deep too very deep this is the trail that i'm hoping has a water crossing at the end does that would be quite amazing nope definitely not a water oh, this is called bigfoot road i think we're supposed to take a stay uh, right back there and not come this way Not sure this even exists anymore. I mean, it's on the map, it's legal, but I don't, I don't see it anywhere. Well, that's a bummer. Like, that's a major bummer. Uh, for service, I hate it when you do this to me. It's very annoying. It's very rude. I think this might have been the road of it uh, originally. I think it's just one of those cases where 
nobody ever used it the forest reclaimed it but the forest service never took it off their maps i think it was where those loggers were i mean it's possible that the map was wrong but when we turned down into that area um it was way off the map of course we know the map is wrong a lot well according to the, the way I, I think it, I think it ends up down there where those loggers were. I think they they've recreated the road, and so if we go past those guys, I think that's where you're that's where you're looking for. But you might not want to go past those guys. Yeah, there's a good chance you may be right. Here come some people. We can ask them. What do you think? Does 1501D still go down there to the water? I guess there's a road right there past our loader goes on down through there. Is it okay for us to go down there? Sure oh, okay, cool. Man, yeah, they're saying it does cross the river up here. All right, I'm gonna go. We'll go check it out. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. You too. Very nice one. Well, nice, and there's some bluffs over here. I don't know where the water crossing would be here. Oh, I see it. Right through there. Down the this way? Yeah. Yep. Go down here. And it picks up right over there. This is. Oh, that's cold. Oh, that's so cold. Feels good though. This is one of those situations where we don't know what's on the other side of this, especially that island over there. So I'm gonna walk it first before we get over here and maybe get in too deep, you know, just to, to be safe. And also make sure the trail actually connects over here. I think it does and I think it's shallow. Yeah, that looks good. Oh yeah, no problem. What do you think? Yeah, great. No problem at all. Not too deep, hard rock bottom. Yeah, this is gorgeous. I'm excited about this one. Really tight through here.
No problem. Loved it. Absolutely awesome. That is why we explore. To find amazing campsites like we have just, I mean, here at the end of today. This is the last trail. As soon as we pop off this trail, we're airing up and heading back home. And oh my gosh, what a way to end the day. And so far this trail's pretty good too. A little more technical than what we've encountered the rest of the day. I mean, literally saved the best for last. I had no idea. I cannot wait to camp in these locations and show my friends, share them with our patrons so that they can enjoy these amazing things because I've never seen these in anybody's photos before. So I don't know how well used they are, but I am crazy pumped and excited. Time to air back up and head home. You had fun? Oh yeah. Started with an amazing water crossing. Ended with an amazing water crossing. Saw some other great water crossings. Crazy cool campsites. Yeah, I don't. I go cannot home. wait to stay there. I <laughs> know oh, I don't either. Sorry, yeah. babe. I uh, care if you're watching this. Uh, we really just want to go just camp want out. To come here. We do. Yeah, yeah. I'll send you the coordinates. You come here. But anyway. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, give us that YouTube love. Check out longcreekoverland.com for all of our new merchandise. Check out our Patreon. If you wanna see where we've been, see where these campsites are, take a look at that. Consider supporting this channel in a very tangible way. Really appreciate that. Robert's a patron and I love him. He was actually one of my first. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.